What's the use or the purpose of language? Because you, you, you're kind of like a, a fellow who incantates mm. and you, you, you change, not reality, but you open up different aspects of it through the words that you use and the rhythm in which you say them. And exactly. Whatever words you use, what I tell people, the first thing you're going to do if you're going to stretch is put your hands together like that. The next thing is to get some form of rhythm. And when I'm doing it, I just usually say, spirituality manifests itself in the messengers of goodwill. The purest form of goodwill is compassion. It's unconditional. Then I go through all the letters in the alphabet. The adept aesthetic with the aesthetic attitude likes to alleviate the adverse with the ambience of a card. The authenticity of his argument would ameliorate the angst with an astute, artistic, altruistic alternative. This ace arbiter at the apex of his aplomb. I can keep that going, zig and zag. The saying he says for example, and zappa. X marked the spot where the X-rays of the xenophobic soil of a player as Xerox next down on do. So I can take any letter in the alphabet and go back to spirituality, manifest itself in the messengers of goodwill. Purest form of goodwill is compassion. It's unconditional. Keep the rhythm going. <coughs> Get the body going. Loosen up. We're going to run fairly fast here. <laughs> <laughs> Then kill yourself laughing. <laughs> Do people listen to you? No. <laughs>